Bridge of Spies, the film that inspired Nordy's Month of Spielberg and what led me to putting more effort into these types of videos than just setting up a camera and spouting out my thoughts off the top of my head. I didn't see this film when it was released in 2015 because, well, you know. I had only seen it once and I remember it being good but I never felt the need to watch it again. And watching it again, that's about how I feel still. It's a very well done movie, I just don't have much to say about it. It can kind of fit into the Munich or Catch Me If You Can area where it is technically a very good movie, I just don't love it. Set in 1957 at the height of the Cold War and a man named Rudolf Abel, played by Mark Rylance, is arrested for being a Soviet spy. His lawyer, James B. Donovan, played by Tom Hanks, manages to keep him safe from the death penalty and good thing too as a US pilot is shot down and taken prisoner in the Soviet Union and now Donovan must negotiate his freedom using Rudolf as leverage. My favorite aspect of this movie is the theme that everyone deserves a fair chance. Pretty much everyone just wants Rudolf to be given the electric chair and mainly see his trial trial is just a sham to get it, but Donovan doesn't see it that way and thinks he deserves a fair trial as everyone in America is entitled to. But what makes us both Americans? Just one thing. One, one, one. The rule book. We call it the Constitution, and we agree to the rules. And that's what makes us Americans. Even though this makes him hated by a lot of people, someone even shoots up his house while him and his family are in it. That was just how much we hated the Soviets. Not only were we willing to kill their spies, but we were willing to kill the people defending them. Pretty much everything from a technical standpoint is great, it's well shot, the acting's good, production values are great, it's well paced. And I also really love the ending. It's kind of like Munich where the rest of the movie is good, but it just ends on such a great note. Sadly, that's about all I have to say about it. Like I said, this can go in the group of Spielberg movies that, by all accounts, are very good, but I just don't have much to say about them, and aren't really in a huge rush to rewatch them. Again, that's not saying they do anything bad, just not the kind of movie I usually want to watch. I give it a 7 out of 10. It is a good movie to watch in today's climate of just punish anyone accused without a fair trial, or even allowing them to defend themselves. You know, the trial by social media. But hopefully I'll have more to say about the next film as we enter the world of Roald Dahl to see Spielberg's adaptation of the BFG. See you then.